All right, I'm gonna show y'all something. Uh, give y'all a uh, understanding on why I trade the daily week zone. Most people feel like, oh, that's too many indicators. You got indicators, indicators on your screen. Like they're not indicator indicators. They're just indicators. Like all they're telling me is is where 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 price is at the time. You know what I mean? Like check this out. Uh, like here, this only thing this is doing is telling me which direction, which which direction that time frame candle is going. In HL, all this is is telling me if there's a new high or a new low on each time frame. New high, new low. Those are facts. These are facts. These are not indicators. They don't. You see, wick zone. This is only telling me if price is in the previous bar's wick area or not. This is this is not play stuff. It's not. Oh, oh, he just got a bunch of colorful stuff on his on his screen. I don't have a bunch of lines that move values as I change time frames. Like you got. <coughs> I used to run with a moving average, and the name itself should tell you it's probably you shouldn't use it. It's called a moving average. It moves when you change time frame. The value the value of the moving average also changes to match the criteria on those candlesticks or that time frame. It's an average of crap to be honest um, you're trying to read the curves of it and is it faced this way is it turned that way like it doesn't matter which way it's turned which way is price turned so if, unless you got a, a zero moving average or one moving average uh, it's not going to really help you um, what price is doing right now is what's important look all this is is telling me the weekly high, the week, the weekly reversal, which is the rat zone. My this over here, all this does is tell me my missed pivots. I have one missed daily pivot right here that we have to go back up and hit. But a missed pivot means price was moving so fast and at such a high rate that it forgot to stop and wait. It got close to hitting the pivot, but it didn't. It's still a missed pivot. And when you have missed pivots, it's like kind of like a magnet. It's going to eventually pull price back to that pivot point. That's why I use those as targets. All right. This is telling me Tuesday is high. I don't really start trying to calculate the market's price until Tuesday. So you don't trade on Monday and Sunday. You analyze on Monday and Sunday. Look at what they're doing on Monday and Sunday. Tuesday's close. Once we trade below Monday's high, I mean, uh, Tuesday's high and Tuesday's close, it opened down here. It got the high. It closed here. Once price trades below, let's see when, when that happened. This was Tuesday. Once once it, it went below the close, you're in the trade. Look at that. It goes up and it closes above Tuesday's high. You in another trade? Look at that. Comes back, it closes below Tuesday's close. You in another trade? Look at that. What do you think we're gonna do now? We're probably gonna go up and close above Tuesday's high again and hit that pivot point, and then come back down. Now. I normally don't even have these on my screen. These arrows, I, I use them for just like a flash moment, just to see what's going on. The the shy channel, trend uh, channels, I, I leave that on there for just a minute to see what it's doing. But I don't trust it because it changes on every time frame. Now this this line right here, this this zone is not going to change if I change time frames. 
That's that same zone. If I go to to the daily, that's that same zone. Weekly. It's not even gonna be a zone because it's a weekly zone. This this zone you're looking at, you're used to me looking at the, the previous day's bar candle. This is the previous week's candle. So when I go into the 30 minute looking at this this right here, this is a whole week. That shaded area is a whole week worth of trading. That's real swing trading. You hold this for a few days. It's up. Close it. Get back in the opposite direction. Ride it through that zone. Close it. Get back in the opposite direction. This is going to go back up and hit this missed pivot point. And then we will probably break out of this whole week's zone for for this week. Or last, this is last week's zone. So for this week, we're going to break this zone and probably go down. Let's look at the weekly. Triple arrows are saying down. So we're probably going to break the base zone and go down. Until triple arrows show back up going the other way. Now, to go on to this. Look. This is not an indicator. This is information. Right? I can reset this and whatever it'll tell me. All this is telling me is where orders are. Right? Who has what orders. So, you talk about what the market maker is doing, right? This is what everybody's doing right here. They're selling. Everybody's selling right now. Even the indicator up here, training wheels are saying set uh, sell. This is where the small majority of the orders are. Nine times out of ten, this is eventually going to buy. I can set. I can set that to. Any set it to 50 50. I can set it to 90 10. Since I guess 90% of losers fail, I mean, 90% uh, of traders lose. If I go with the 10%, I should be profitable, right? Maybe I don't know, but I just want to see where the orders are. I want to see where the orders are. See this? It's switching, it's going to sell like this is going to sell. Another reason, let me go back um, this on the phone. Another reason why I like trading the wig zone. Look at this. This is a wick. This is a wick. You see this? Let me give you a better example. We'll come back to that. This is a wick. This is, this is a lower wick. Down here. And this is your upper wick. Up here. We're going to put a horizontal line at, those, at the start and ends. secret right price does not like to close in any wick zone I don't care what time frame I don't care what what area code you live in I don't care like price does not like to close in the wick zone of any previous bar it does not like it don't like to do it so look at this you got a wick to the bottom and a wick to the top. Price, it said, I'm not closing. It's either going to close at the same level or it's going to go above. It does not like to close in the wick zone, right? Once it goes above this wick zone, you can get in the trade. Boom. Stop loss below the wick zone.
you end the trade here, you can ride that trade all the way up until price does not like to close in the uh, bull in the bull's lower wick zone. So you'd be out here. That's 382 pips. Right? Price does not like to close in the wick zone. You could have got 43 pips out of this. And that's that's small. Look, the previous this upper wick zone. Let's move these, get these out of the way. Upper wick zone, lower wick zone. Bar close here. Another 392 pips. Price does not like to close in the previous bars wick zone. Look. So you will get out here. 425 pips. Price does not like to close. Look, you see this? See the wick zone? You see how price over here went and said, I'd rather close in the body of the candle than to close up here or down here right now. Once it closes, this is the one we can't be coming back to. Once it closes below, this don't even got no wick on the bottom. That's why I'm moving on. But once it closes below that area, boom, right here. Price don't close above the upper wick zone of any previous candle until about a year. And that's a gap. That's 600 and something pips. Go to the daily. Same thing. Once price closes below that wick zone, you're in the trade. 145 pips. Price is above and closing above that wick zone. Boom. 99 pips. It does not like to close in the wick zone. Once it breaks the wick zone, you're in the trade. Look, it don't close above the wick zone until here. You can get out right here. I'm just giving y'all some quick tips. This don't even you don't even you don't have nothing on your chart to, to read that. That's called reading price action for real, for real. That's real price action. When you get this right here, boom, you see that? It don't like to close in the weak zone. It says, I'd rather stay in this candle's body <laughs> until I decide what I want to do and it closes above this weak zone here. Get in the trade. It don't matter where you pick. Here, boom, close below the weak zone. In the trade, boom. Here, close above the wick zone. Boom. Go here. Boom. Close above the wick zone. Price. Oh, you would have got out of here. I'm sorry. Let me let me get to trip. Boom. You would have got out there. To be honest with you, to be fair, 70, 75 pips. Put you back in here because you're closing above the wick zone. This is why I draw wick zones. This is why I use that wick zone tool. It's not even an indicator. It just lets me know truth. It does not move. And when I go time frame to time frame, it does not move. If I go to the one minute, let's go to the one minute. It does not move. It's the same week zone from earlier. If I go to the one hour. And this, the same miss pivots. Let me is this is a miss pivot from 116 at price 1.6859, 116 2020. We are now 92 pips below that missed pivot point. This is facts. How many times did it miss it? It missed it three times. That's it. So, man, y'all take care. I'm doing my analysis right now. Uh, I'll make some video, more videos this week. We're going to keep it moving.